Hello, hello. Welcome to the Something to Play for podcast. We have a special guest with us today. Uh, we have Cameron Clark. He's the head coach of Christopher Columbus High School. Cam, welcome to the show. Appreciate you having me, man. Awesome, awesome. So let's get right into it. Cam, you know, tell us a little bit about how you got to Christopher Columbus uh, High School. How was your journey? And, you know, let us know, you know, the, the good things that Col- Columbus have to offer. So it started in 2016. You know, it's a long story, but I... Uh, I, I had an interview over at Coral Reef Senior High, and at Coral Reef, you know, I was 25 years old. Uh, Deb Mark Lewis at the time, she, she told me, the athletic director, you know, we're taking a risk on you. And there's not a lot of head coaches that, that are 25. So I was young, I, I was inexperienced for sure, 100%. Yeah, I hear you. Um, but I, you know, previously the team had, you know, three wins, something like that the year before. Uh, we ended up taking that team to about 13 wins, district final appearance, regional appearance. Um, I decided to come back for a second year, uh, okay. kind of continued that 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 uh, you know positive progress, and we ended up again going to a district final, regional appearance. You know, um, after that, you know, I kind of had an opportunity again to interview with uh, Gulliver you know who now is a private school but also they have a whole soccer program beautiful you know they have high school middle school they have a youth program um so it was a big step again I was I think you know 27 now still (laughs) young still young got got a little bit of experience uh under my belt but interviewed for that ended up not getting the job I then get reached out to become the assistant of the program though, not just coaching, you know, a JV team or, you know, the assistant of the varsity team, but kind of to overlook the entire program. To and oversee the program. Yeah, oversee cool, the program. Cool. So over those two years, man, I, I learned so much, learned so much uh, just about running an entire program and, and, and what it, it entails, you know, it's a lot, a lot of work. Sure. Um, we ended up winning a state title that year in 2019, 2020. From there, you know, COVID, COVID happened. So we all know about COVID. Yeah, <laughs> we, we kind of, uh, I kind of had a, a, a weird moment there. You know, that summer, didn't know where I was going to go. You know, uh, I, I interviewed at the time again for the Gulliver head coaching job. They, that spot opened up once more. Uh, ended up not getting it. Uh, had an opportunity to go now to Miami Country Day, right down the street. Okay. Okay. And this time was to be the head of a program again but now on the girl side you know so again I learned a lot now being the head coach again of a program um taking that team you know to regional finals one win away from a state title appearance or a state semi-final appearance um and then you know things kind of fizzled out again that summer I I was open to you know a new opportunity uh, or I was just going to stay at Miami Country Day. And I was actually here at uh, the Shores training training a client. And I get a phone call, you know, that day. I clearly remember I was I was anxious. I was, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah, yeah. And I get a phone call from someone telling me that the job at, at Columbus was, was opening up. And, I mean, for everybody who doesn't know, I mean, I'm, I'm alumni. I graduated from there in 2010. A lot of the teachers that taught me are, are still there. So, um, That's awesome. yeah, it, it was kind of awesome. weird going back to for the interview. You know, I'm, I'm there getting interviewed by some Especially of my old with teachers. The teachers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, by some of my old teachers. Um, but, you know, it, it, it just felt right. And, awesome. and right when I got into that interview, I, I, in the back of my head, I knew I was going to get the job. That's awesome. Cam, you know, what are your, your goals? Because, you know, like I said, Columbus is a you know a prestigious high school. What are your goals? Where do you see the program? What's the long term goal uh, of the soccer program at Columbus? Yeah, I mean, it's grown so much already. You know, I'm I'm thinking about back when I was there. Yeah. I think we had maybe you know sixty kids trying out. Sixty. Wow. Sixty. But that's back when that's I was like, playing. You yeah. Know? Now you know, last year, first year coming in, we had 150. Look at that. 150 kids trying out. This year, we're, I, I believe we're at 120 right now. And, and, I mean, we still have two weeks to go about. So there's no uh, excuse to not at least, you know, be a state contender every year with 
having a pool of 150 kids to try correct. out. Correct. So my long-term goal is to, to have the program become, you know, a state contending team year in, year out. Also, though, prepare the kids for their next level, whether that's college, you know, um, professional, whatever, whatever route they want to take, but prepare them for that, you know. So, I mean, we, we, we're in the weight room, you know, twice a week. A lot of soccer teams don't do that. Yeah, that's like know? some professional type yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So we prep them for, for all of that, you know. You know, at the, at the college level and at the professional level, you're in the weight room, you know, three to four times a week. Correct. And then you have to go out and, and have a two-hour training session. So we're doing our best to prepare the, the, the program and the kids for, for their next opportunity, whether that's college or professional. That's awesome. That's great. You know, uh, it's good to have that insight because people who don't know would love to hear this kind of information. So that's really key information um, for for people that, you know, parents and, and children that want to know more about Columbus. What is the best information? How can they get, you know, in contact? How can they know about the, the what, what Columbus has to offer? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's many ways. I mean, I feel like Columbus as well is always been word of mouth you know a lot of families don't know about it until they go and they see the facilities and what we have to offer um what i'm trying to do is, is bring our social media engagement up you know so i i've been posting a lot more our schedule um you know clips of our games whatever it is i you know i try and stay active on our social media page uh for columbus soccer and then as well i mean we have open house. We have open house that I believe. Oh, that's is great. In, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so you guys that's, got open house. That's yeah, that's key. Yeah. That's in October, and you know a lot of middle school parents come to that. And, okay. You know, being around South Florida so long, coaching, a lot of families, you know, remember me whether I coach yeah. them, you know, when they're five years old or whatever. And now the kids are in middle school, and you see the families, and oh my God, I didn't know. You I remember were. you. Yeah, 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 How are you doing, yeah, yeah, coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the open house is huge, um, and then you know we we have the summer camp going on as well, which for us is is huge. That's awesome, you know. So I know that Jorge Mas is very involved uh, with Columbus. I know that you you guys did a, a camp, and they you know Inter Miami uh, did a sponsorship. Talk to us a little bit about that. How was that? And you know, talk to us a little bit about you know you know what Jorge Mas's program does at at at, at Columbus High School. Yeah, f first off, I mean a lot of. People think Columbus is known for athletics. You know, it's always been an ath athletically known school. Um, but the Moss family program, uh, it's it's huge. You know, it, the the academic side of Columbus is is pristine. You know, so kids have to actually you know put in an application to go through that process and try and become a part of that program, um, whether through their GPA, through their test scores, everything. So the Moss family does incredible things for the school. Uh, they've done so much. I know, I yeah. know. So um, how that came about is, you know, we always wanted to do something with Inter Miami and with Jorge Moss. Um, we ended up having a connection inside of Inter Miami and we kind of sat down and, you know, had ideas of how the camp could work out. And for those who don't know, you know, the, the, the summer, we've never had a soccer summer camp ever. So this is your first this soccer? This is the first one in Columbus history. That's awesome. And yeah. you put that together. So, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. great. It was that's a lot great. of work, but, you know, we made it happen. Um, so part of the deal was, um, you know, with Inter Miami, once a week, we were going to go and take a <laughs> tour of the facilities. We were going to um, give each camper a ticket to a game. Okay, okay. And then as well as uh, discounted tickets to other games. So if you signed up for our camp, you got not only a free ticket or two free tickets, but you got discounted tickets <laughs> moving forward. Um, and uh, let me tell you, the kids freaked out. They when, must when have we loved went. that. Huh? Yeah, actually, the, the, first, the first trip we went on, we got to meet um, Matuidi. Wow. And then also uh, McKinney. Okay. McKinney was there training, and he came over. What a cool guy. Ended up coming over, saying hi to all the kids, and and that he's was a great about, one. Weston is yeah. a really he's a, a young young spirit, you know, yeah, he's a great yeah. great personality. And and that was awesome, and and that kind of you know got things going and moving, and uh, you know the, it was super successful, you know. But we had a lot of middle school families 
that were kind of indecisive of where they wanted to go for high school. And almost every single young man who attended the camp after was, I want to go to Columbus. I love that. So I love that. That, that was huge. Well, congratulations you for putting that together. I know, like you said, it was a lot of work and it wasn't easy. But again, this is for the kids. This is why you do what you do and what I do what I do. And other coaches as well, because we want to help these kids get, you know, a pathway that I didn't have, you didn't have. So this is awesome to put together. Um, moving on, we're going to, you know, talk about, I want to get your thoughts, uh, Coach Cam, about, you know, we have club soccer, we have uh, high school soccer. It's always a little bit of friction. And we're going to go there because this is what we're, this is what this yeah, podcast yeah, is about, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts? How, you know, because you have, I have a lot of people ask a lot, you know, uh, parents ask me, should I play for my high school? Should I play club? You know, it's hard because I know the club coach uh, doesn't like it. And then sometimes the high school coach. So give us a little bit of uh, feedback on your opinion. Obviously, you, you know, you're, you're, you're a high school coach, so, but it's still your opinion is really uh, appreciated. Yeah, I mean, well, well, first off, uh, it's a hot topic in in, in our, sure. in our line sure. of work. But um, you know, and everybody has their own opinion. Everybody has different opinions. Correct. Um, first off, you know, when we were playing, we had a break. You know, we had early season. I don't know if it was the same when when, when up north. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Yeah, we yeah. had early season, then we had a break for high school, and then we had late season, and. Then, and it was great because all the kids got a break and we all got to play high school. And for me, all my memories playing were from playing at Columbus. Correct. Most of mine. Correct. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, to m make everybody happy. But at the same time, I want the best opportunities for the kids. Correct. So okay. this year, what I'm doing is I tried to work my schedule around to not not uh overlap with the important tournaments so you know bethesda um the ecnl showcase i'm trying to make sure that that the kids can go to those so you're essentially trying to work with the, with, the, clubs, with the clubs as well yeah, yeah, okay yeah. that's really cool that's good to know but, that's but good to know for those specific showcases because we know that college coaches are going to be there correct okay you know if it's just a regular tournament that you know co college coaches necessarily are not going to be there i expect them to be at high school whatever we have going on you know um i think it's getting better though i think it's getting better you know the the ecnl which is pretty new i had no idea but their their season now is kind of going to um break for high school yeah and they have a lot of college coaches involved in their so I try and do my best to make everybody, you know, happy. But at the same time, I expect, um, you know, I expect them to, to be fully engaged and fully involved when high school season approaches. But I'm also doing my best to get college coaches out to our games. You know, this year we had six college coaches attend, you know, high school games. Mm. So. I, I want just the best opportunity for the boys. That's all. No, that that's great because again, like I said, um, we had that break. Now I'm seeing there's a lot of leagues. There's a lot of different things. You know, people are playing. Like we train three times a week. Now children, kids are playing sometimes four or five times yeah. a week. So it's a lot more. A lot. Soccer has changed. You know, uh, coach. I also want to get your opinion on you know you know Inter Miami being here because again, when I was here, I never had a professional team like Inter Miami. Again, you know, uh, you know. The Mass family, David Beckham, all these people have done a great job because, again, these kids don't, you know, when I was playing, I had to go to Europe or I had to go to uh, different states to watch a professional team. Now that we have Inter Miami here, I think that's something so, so crucial for the development of these kids. Can you give us a little bit of your thoughts on, you know, having Inter Miami here, having these world-class players here? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. And we never had an opportunity like that. <laughs> I so, wish. Um, Again, like I said previously, I'm just trying to give the kids the best opportunity possible. So if I have a freshman coming in that I think he's good enough for to play at Inter Miami, I'm going to reach out to Inter Miami, get some video, and send it to the to them. Willing to work with them. That's Willing awesome. to work with them and giving that kid the best opportunity. 
I think for anybody playing in South Florida, that is the best opportunity for but somebody. But I, I, I want to say one thing, Coach. There's some coaches that don't do that. Not, some yeah, coaches, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because we're going to get right. Because they want them to play for them. Exactly. And, I mean, again, it's not about us. It's about them. A hundred percent. And that's why, you know, I had to get into it because, again, there are coaches that know, okay, maybe if I – and it doesn't have to be in their mind. It could be any – what is better, what's best for the kid. So if the kid needs to be seen and, you know, he's been taken from this team, done a great job, the coach has done great, but now it's time for him to, you know, play at another level, hey – Go on, do your thing, you know, and let's get a new kid. Let's develop the kid because exactly. I see a lot of this happening, and I don't think it's right because if we really say we want to develop the kids, we it's about development, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, again, if, if and it's it's happened already. I had a kid come to the camp. I've had a kid in my program that I sent video to the head of recruitment for Inter Miami just okay. because I think that they're good enough to be in that program. So working with them, I think, is huge for the families and for the kids. Because at the end of the day, that is the best opportunity if they want to go play college, if they want to th go the professional route with Inter Miami is the best opportunity. Um, I think it also is great that it's free. You know, if you get into that program, everything's free, everything's paid for, from my understanding, and that's the way it should be, you know. I think it's, it's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Coach, uh, again, you know, we're going to ask you one last question. It's going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be a little tricky. You know, don't get nervous. Don't mess with you. Coach, what are your thoughts? Who do you have the World Cups coming up? Who, who do you support? You know, we're going to hear a little bit about that. Uh, who are you going for and who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Oh, man. I had to give it to you. I had to give it to you. <laughs> well, I think everybody knows I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, you know, you got to root for, for the U.S. And I think, you know, every year we're making progress, you know, year in, year out. Um... But I mean, I would I would like to see uh, you know Belgium go far. I always think that they they always you know top talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love what, to watch them play. Uh, I always think they get they get shafted at the end, but we'll see. I, I would I would like them to, to to win. Awesome. Well, Coach, you know we really appreciate you coming on to the the show. It was great, you know, and we wish you the best of luck at Christopher Columbus. And again, thanks for coming on, boss. Appreciate it, man. All right, brother. He's a man. All right. <laughs> We just wrapped up the show. We'll be doing raffles every week. Check the winner below to see who wins this week's raffle.